The University of Notre Dame rocked by a sex scandal. A tutor has been fired after she was accused of pressuring student athletes to have sex with her daughter. One of those students has now sued the school. Crime Sider's Graham Cates is here with me now. Graham, uh, this is a disturbing story. Bring us up to speed on what's going on there. It's a, it's a really bizarre case. This lawsuit was filed on October 30th, and uh, what the student is saying is that he had uh, an academic coach. It's, uh, it's a position that's uh, uh, part of this first program for first-year students at Notre Dame, and that uh, she essentially arranged for him to have a relationship with her daughter, but then things got really uncomfortable and weird is basically how, how they explained it. Um, this, this, this academic coach supposedly asked him really intimate details about the, his relationship with the girl. She, she set him up on, uh, for hotel rooms to have sex with her daughter, is what the, the student said. Uh, as, as his lawyer explained it to me, she was constantly involved in the promoting of the relationship, encouraging it, facilitating, buying condoms for them, setting up a hotel room for them to have sex in, entertaining at the house, asking intimate details about the sex, and commenting on his penis. Okay, so this is his side of the story. You spoke to yeah. the lawyer representing the student who filed the lawsuit. Let's get to first what he had to say. He said, he said basically the school should have known about this. Uh, he said this is a, a person who, who worked as an official for the school. There are allegations that she had actually had similar arrangements with other students. And he said that there was just these things like trying to convert the student to Catholicism and that when the uh, student wanted to break off the relationship, he said that the, uh, the academic coach kind of insinuated that that might affect his scholarship standing and lots of things that just seem very unsavory. But there are some holes, right? I mean, uh, could this perhaps, have we, have we spoken to the accused or her daughter? Because it could be simply that she was just trying to bring her daughter together with this guy and there was no sex involved or at least sex mentioned. Sounds weird to me that she'd try to convert him to Catholicism while also promoting sex before marriage. Yeah, I mean, there, there certainly are weird things about the story. So far, um, there's no attorney on, on uh, record for her, and she's listed as Jane Rowe in the document. Everyone's kind of is anonymous of this. But they say that they've spoken to at least one other student who has had kind of weird interactions just like this. Uh, they say, you know, there are texts between the mother, the daughter, and other people, and she says that our client shouldn't be jealous of other people who she set up uh, relationships with her daughter with uh, because he's better than them mm. uh, at engaging in sex. Uh, and, and this was from the lawyer. He told me that this morning. Uh, he said that the student told uh, the, the woman, uh, this isn't right, uh, I'm trying to move on. Um, and she responded in, in a text that uh, he's a scholarship kid and that there was kind of this, again, this insinuation that he was risking his scholarship. So, uh, but there is a possibility that it could have just been dating and for whatever reason, this student decided to file this report and that will have to come out at trial. Yeah, but um, she was actually fired. Uh, uh, earlier this, uh, in October actually, and the school said, um, they sent this letter um, that, uh, to, the, to the student saying the university has completed its case analysis into the, into the interactions. The university has concluded that this person's behavior violated the university's values and the university's sexual and discriminatory harassment policy. Mm. And are there any clues as to why this academic coach allegedly did this? No, and it's, it's just, we're trying to like figure out why exactly someone would Get, try to get all these details from their daughter's relationship with someone. Uh, and it, it's just kind of a really weird, we, we don't know why. Hmm. All right, very disturbing. Graham Cates, thank you very much. Remember, you can track investigations and read up on the big crime stories of the day at cbsnews.com slash crimesider.